United Airlines found itself at the center of controversy Monday after a video posted on Facebook showed a passenger being forcibly removed from an overbooked flight Sunday at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport. The flight from Chicago O'Hare to Louisville was operated by United Express affiliate Republic Airlines. United confirmed that a passenger had been taken off flight 3411 on Sunday in Chicago, with CEO Oscar Munoz apologizing and pledging to conduct our own detailed review of what happened. United Airlines CEO apologizes after man forcibly removed from overbooked flight. The problem arose since United said four passengers were randomly chosen to force them out of the plane when no one volunteered to give up their seats, even though it was initially paid for $400 and eventually $800 for four employees must be in Kentucky for early morning flight on Monday. That selection is based on several factors, but frequent flyers and higher fare-paying passengers are given priority to stay aboard, a spokeswoman for United confirmed. But the video has made headlines across the country, giving United an unwanted public relations black eye, just two weeks after it was exposed to criticism for denying boarding to two girls traveling on a guest pass because they were wearing leggings. Making it worse was that the passenger in this case had already boarded the flight. Once you're offloading passengers who've already boarded so that you can get employees on the flight, you'd think they'd do just about anything to avoid that, said Seth Kaplan, editor of the airline weekly trade publication. Others echoed the sentiment that United probably could have handled the situation better. I've seen a lot in my 40 years covering and working for the airline industry, but this is historically bad public relations, says George Habica, president of Airfare Watchdog. The burning question is why did they wait until everyone was seated before realizing they needed to move employees? Charles Leoka, the founder of passenger advocacy group Travelers United said. Removing passengers at the last minute to make way for staff was also highly unusual, he said. Staff transport should be identified ahead of time and factored into bookings. Our expectations have been driven so low that passengers have begun to accept it, he said. What they shouldn't have to accept is being dragged off the flight to make way for an employee.